All right, time to replace this. So pretty standard, line up your keys. Oh wait, let me get some anti-seize on there. All right, I put copper anti-seize in there and very important because the old pump was horrible to get off. The uh, hardest thing is lining up the holes. Every time I've done one of these, it's kind of like you got to hold it at part of an angle and, and that's it. So once the pump's on, you got your bolts and then because the height on this i needed to buy some washers uh, not a big deal but i just bought eight millimeter washers because that's what these or that's what these bolts are so uh, let's see once the first one's in everything else should be easier perfect so let me hand tighten that bolt a bit That one's good. Uh, and, and I'm just stacking them like that. I ended up using six. I bought seven because I wasn't sure. And it looks like six is actually holding it nicely. So. All right, let me put these because I don't want to knock the camera down and then I'll turn it back. All right, I'm back. So I put five washers under each one and it was because the engine casting was hitting the pump here so that's it so five washers um, and then just start tightening these up trying to get the bolt on this one that one's being a little elusive. Okay. But yeah, basically that's all it is to switch the pump. Uh, drop the old one, put a new one in, and you're done. So next, I'll probably try this out for a little bit. Uh, it's a little chilly here, but it should be okay. I'll hit my car to clean it a bit. All right, so set it up. Uh, you can see the hose and uh, high pressure outlet come out from the side. This tubing is for the soap dispenser, so I just ran a little piece. It came, the pump came with this, and then this unit, you're just supposed to put a bottle right here. And uh, so it seems like it's working fine. Actually, it seems like it works great. So let me uh, set this up and I'll hit the car a little. So, of course, I made sure to prime the line so it's only water. Uh, the orifices on this, I can't read, but make sure you size the orifice with the pump. I'm assuming this is around 2.5. I didn't check. It'll also change the pressure of your pump. But let's, uh, let's do it. On. And this is a self priming motor. hit bypass of course make sure to release the pressure and I am going to uh, take the hose off but and then I'll show you the unloader actually I'll show it to you now so that 
black thing right there is the unloader and you can adjust it. So overall, really cool pump. I'm pretty happy with it. All right, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. All right, of course, one more thing. Winterize it. It's still cold here. It can still freeze. I don't want to destroy a pump over not working, not getting the water into it, uh, blowing the water out. So, especially for these little pump, these pumps that don't have much reservoir, the head's pretty tiny. But like this, just yeah. I hit it gently. That's it. So it is ready. Uh, at, and at least the minimum you need to do is blow it out with an air compressor. Make sure you get the water out so that way you don't damage the pump, the seals, or the valves. All right, thanks again.